I think that all of us, truly every single one of us, expect order when you go to a restaurant. It's just one of those things. I'm uh, not into the cooking shows. I don't know if you guys are into the cooking shows, but I, I have been known to get sucked into a few cooking shows here and there. Um, mostly because I, I love food, not <laughs> because I love to cook. But um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy named Gordon Ramsay. You guys ever heard of Gordon Ramsay? Okay, he's a pretty famous chef. Well, there's a reality TV show that he's on where he goes into restaurants that are completely out of order and he does a really good job of putting them back into order and he swears a lot through the whole thing. And so if you've never seen it, just be warned. But I love watching this dude just go off on people and I love the fact that he expects a great deal out of order when it comes to a restaurant because all the rest of us do too. Can I get an amen? amen. Uh, and, and let me let me just test you with this. Have you ever gone to a restaurant and everything was out of order? Like say for instance, you, you looked at the menu and the menu was out of order and it wasn't really prepared right. And when you went to order your food, they didn't have what it was that you ordered because they forgot to order enough food. You know, or maybe the the place wasn't orderly. You know, the table wasn't set right. And maybe the bathroom didn't look right and things weren't clean and it took too long. And you ended up feeling like you wasted your time and your money. Have you ever had that kind of an experience at a restaurant? What's, what's so hard is that, that you go in expecting to have a good mark made on you. And when it's happening is, is a bad mark gets made on you. And when that sort of thing happens, do you know what is a truth? The truth is, is that we will tell our friends. Most people will tell somebody something negative almost faster than they will tell somebody something that was positive. And so if you've had a bad experience at a restaurant, chances are you told two or three or five or 20 people, stay away from that place because it's, and you may not have used these terms out of order, but that's what it was that you were experiencing. I, uh, like I said, I grew up in a family restaurant and so, I got to experience what it means to have order in a restaurant and to understand how crucial it really is. You see, when it comes to a restaurant, a family restaurant, there is all of the ordering, like I mentioned earlier, that you need to do for everything. And it's not just for the food, for every single recipe that you have, it's ordering for all of the cleaning supplies and everything else that's necessary too. And there are truly thousands of little details that all need to be kept in an inventory, all of which is in order. Not to mention the fact that in a restaurant, you need to systematically clean everything, not just the utensils, not just the pots and the plants, but the surfaces and the carpets and the bathrooms, and it all gets done systematically every single day, if not in a week, and it's done in a particular order. Not to mention the fact that from the moment a person enters into the parking lot of our family restaurant, where, we, where I grew up was called Pino's Italian Cuisine, there were people who were making all kinds of judgments about us based upon the order of our parking lot whether or not the paint was chipped on the outside of the building, whether or not the windows looked good. There were all kinds of things that people were looking for in terms of order. And they were counting on it. Not to mention the fact that they were counting on their meal being served in order. You see, when we go to a restaurant, we expect order. In this family restaurant, I was the dishwasher, <laughs> which is kind of like the lowest job sometimes when you're in the family, you know? At least it wasn't my family. We always wanted to be the cooks because the cooks were like super cool. Or maybe the people who were out there, you know, hanging out with the, the real people, like waiting on tables and busing. Not me. I was a dishwasher stuck in the back. But even with me, they had this order that I needed to follow or the cooks wouldn't have the proper pots and pans and the people wouldn't have dishes and everything needed to be done in order. And, Guys, we know this to be true. When even one thing gets out of order, it's the consumer who suffers. It's you and I. It's our meal that's ruined. It's our experience that's been impacted. And that is not what we want. Not in a family restaurant. And the truth of it is that a church is an awful lot like a family restaurant. It really is. 